Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Chase Evans for the Sports Network, and we're going to break down the top five catches from Week 5 of the NFL season. we got to start with the fifth on our list comes in Packerland. Of course, Aaron Rodgers was hitting all sorts of weapons on the ends all day against the Detroit Lions on Sunday, but number five comes with Randall Cobb, a great catch in the first quarter. There's Aaron Rodgers sizing up Cobb on the out route, and he hits him. Cobb really uses one hand to halt the momentum of the ball, then he uses two to corral that one in. They would later score a field goal on that drive. They were down 6-3 to three at the half, but Green Bay comes back in a big way. They win the ball game 22-9 to nine over the Detroit Lions. They're now back to 500 on the season. Green Bay 2-2 two two on the year. Number four on our countdown now comes in Cleveland for Thursday night football, and the Browns find a way to get it done once again. And one of the reasons why... Josh Gordon, a huge catch in the third quarter over the Bills' secondary there. And Brandon Whedon actually finds him on that one. Of course, Brian Hoyer, the starter, went down in the first half. Uh, Whedon stepped in seamlessly in that second half. And the Browns win again, 3-2 and two on the year, tied atop the AFC North with Baltimore. Number three now on our countdown. we got to move on and go to Jersey land. And number three comes with a big tight end, Brent Selleck, against the New York Giants. I tell you what, the Giants are having a rough go. And they look like they might be in this ball game, but couldn't quite get it done in the second half. Nick Foles finds Brent Selleck on this pass and catch, puts Philly up 29 to 21. They go on to win the ball game 36-21, and Brent Selleck a great lift. And Ryan Mundy there, the secondary safety for the Giants, can only look on nothing doing there. Brent Selleck a better catch over the shoulder, and that ranks in at number three on our countdown. Number two now, we got to go to Indianapolis and a big catch by the Seattle Seahawks' Jermaine Curse in the first half. Over Vontae Davis, you see it right there, a 28-yard catch from Russell Wilson. Also, Curse had a pretty big outing, also blocked a punt on Sunday, but it was not enough to prevent the Indianapolis Colts from winning that ball game. The Seahawks lose their first game of the year. They're now 4-1 and one on the season. Number one on our countdown. Now, the first and top catch of the week in the NFL comes to Des Bryant. Of course, he had a great catch from Tony Romo against the Denver Broncos. A shootout game. I tell you what, it was a great one, but it was not enough to get the win. Des Bryant has certainly been on fire this season. Obviously a big lift in my fantasy team as well. He's really the only one that's really carrying my team right now, but not enough to get the W. 51-48, Des Bryant, a great catch but an even better display by Peyton Manning and the Broncos. The Broncos now 5-0 on the season. But that rounds out our top five catches of the week in the NFL. For more, tune in next week on the Sports Network. I'm Chase Evans. Have a great week, guys.